Welcome to Mindful Musicians with Nancy Schleyer. So today we're going to continue to be talking about the technique book 1A for the Mindful Musician. Today we're going to cover the lines and the spaces on the staff, treble clef and bass clef. We're also going to be talking about how to find our hand position based on our finger numbers. Let's start with the lines and the spaces. Let's start with the lines on the treble and the bass clef today. So in the treble clef, the saying that I like to use is every good boy does fine. Now there are many different sayings from many different teachers. The main premise is the same. The lines in the treble clef are E, G, B, D, and F. So whether that is every good boy does fine, every good boy drives Ferraris, every good boy deserves fudge. I've heard all of those. They're all valid. They're all equal in that they give us the information we need. The lines on the bass clef are great big dogs find animals. Again, this is another one where there are many different iterations of it. I have heard great big dogs fight animals. I have heard good burritos don't fall apart. Great big dragons fly away good birds don't fly away. <laughs> Any and all of that is, again, very valid. These are simply the ones that I use in my own teaching. If you use different ones, that is absolutely valid. Again, as long as it's teaching the G, B, D, F, A for the bass clef. Below the lines on the staff are some exercises that you can do with your students to help them recognize what these notes are. There are, I think, seven exercises for the treble clef and seven for the bass clef. Let's talk about spaces. So the universal, <laughs> there's not really an acronym that can do a better job than just saying it spells space. The spaces in the bass clef are all cows eat grass. Again, it does not really matter what words you use as long as we have the A, C, E, G. And we always start from the bottom and move to the top. Next, we're gonna talk about how to use finger numbers to find hand position. Okay, so for example, this first example here, this is an F, because again, we're in the treble clef and it's a space note. And remember, the spaces spell face. So F, and this is middle C, and that is our thumb. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find what note is on there, and we're gonna go down to our lowest finger. So in the right hand, that is our thumb. In the left hand, that is our pinky. And we're gonna find what that note would be to help us find what hand position we would be in for that note. This, again, this is an example and kind of an exercise for your students to help them figure out where their hands need to be. Let's talk about where these keys are. So this note here on my keyboard is middle C. If I come up to this note here, if I play my pinky, if I put my right hand thumb on middle C and play my pinky, this is treble G. So the notes in the treble clef on the lines are every good boy does fine. So again, every good boy does fine. And the spaces are F, A, C, and E. So the face. F, A, C, E, and then the lines are every good boy does fine. So as you can see, I've changed the position of my camera to capture more of my keyboard. So again, this is middle C here. If I take my left hand, put my thumb on middle C and play my pinky, this is bass F. Now the lines in the bass clef are great, big, dogs, 
find, there's that base F, animals. So great big dogs find animals. And the spaces are all cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. And great big dogs find animals. Now, as far as finding our hand position based off of the finger number, let's say that I have treble G and I'm going to put my third finger on treble G. So again, when we talk about finger numbers, our thumb is always number one. So one, two, three, four, and five. And it goes the same way with the left hand. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, if I put my middle finger or my third finger on treble G, that puts this hand in an E position. And we name it that because that is the lowest note that my hand sits in in a five finger hand position. So a five finger hand position just means that every single finger has its own note and we're not skipping any notes and no fingers are doubling up. Again, thank you so much for joining me today on Mindful Musicians, Nancy Schleier, as we walk through technique book 1A of the Mindful Musicians technique book. I am so excited to bring this to you guys and I hope this was informative for you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe so that you are notified when a new video drops. See you next time.